Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Media Real Junior. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction, System Integration and Architecture Series. Right now is our lecture number six. Let's proceed to our topic for today. So our topic is the type of system integration. Now let's proceed. Now what is a system integration? Every system has their own language. The way how can system understand input commands and respond with output. If another system wants to communicate, that system would need to know how the language of other system or know how to use Google Translator. Integration is communication or rather translator between systems. Same thing is with communication between people. If two people with different native language want to communicate, they will need a person who can understand them both. Or they will use hands, legs, sounds, and faces. That person, the translator, has the same role as the integration system. In this figure, we can identify on how the person communicate to the other person. Integration doesn't have to act as a middleman. It can be done on either side. For example, one person can speak the other language and their communication can be established without the middleman. In that case, integration is already done on one side. In technical terms, for solution can connect to a database or some other system, integration module is present inside that solution. That integration module translates to a language of other system. There are numerous ways of technologies and use cases of system integration. So we have three types of system integration based on the area of use and type of use. Integration services can be divided into three categories. The first one is the Enterprise Application Integration or the EAI. The second one is the Data Integration or the DI. The third one is Electronic Document Integration Interchange or the EDI. Now, you will notice here the figure which we have the three types of system integration. So we have the EAI, the DI, and the EDI. And on the middle, we have the ESP that separates the EAI to DI and EDI. Enterprise application integration is a service-based integration. It's a process that communicates with the different services, gather data, and then proceed with further steps based on desired action or workflow. Process can be triggered with exposed service. Data integration, DI, different databases and services for management reporting or any kind of reporting, gathering data from all the city services, aggregating and transforming them into central place for interactive reporting. When you want to consolidate your services into one central point of access you need to data integration. Usually there are lots of different data sources or databases and you want them in one place of access all consolidated. The third one is the electronic data integration or the EDI. EDI electronic document interchange is core business to business oriented process. It functions on paperless exchange of documents and electronic standards. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number six.